Hey there, thinkers. Welcome back to our channel. A few weeks ago, the next generation of NVIDIA Blackwell AI chips was just unveiled, and they are fast, super fast. During the unveiling, the company's CEO iterated that their coming Blackwell GPU is up to four times faster than NVIDIA's current H100 GPU on ML Perf. NVIDIA has said Blackwell is on track to ramp up production in the second half of this year. So we will be looking into what makes this new AI chip technology groundbreaking for data computing as we know it today. But before we get into today's video, kindly smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click on the notification icon to never miss out on future videos from us. This also helps the YouTube algorithm push our videos to a wider audience looking to watch more informative videos like these. NVIDIA's must-have H100 AI chip made it a multi-trillion dollar company, one that may be worth more than Alphabet and Amazon, and ever since, competitors have been spiraling to catch up to them for the past three years. But from their recent unveiling, NVIDIA is about to extend that lead again with the new Blackwell B200 GPU and GB200 Super Chip. During the unveiling, NVIDIA's CEO Jensen Huang said the new B200 GPU offers up to 20 petaflops of FP4 horsepower from its 208 billion transistors. Also, he says a GB200 that combines two of their Blackwell GPUs with a single Grace CPU can offer up to 30 times the performance for LLM inference workloads. Big words for 30 times the performance, while also potentially being substantially more efficient. It reduces cost and energy consumption by up to 25 times over its predecessors, says NVIDIA. Also, although there's a question mark around what something as cutting edge as this would cost, NVIDIA's CEO has suggested each GPU might cost between $30,000 to $40,000. Now, on a normal day, training a 1.8 trillion parameter model would have previously taken 8,000 Hopper GPUs and 15 megawatts of power says their CEO. But today, 2,000 of NVIDIA's Blackwell GPUs can do this while consuming just 4 megawatts of power. On a GPT-3 LLM benchmark with 175 billion parameters, NVIDIA says the GB200 has a somewhat more modest performance compared to an H100, and NVIDIA says it offers four times the training speed. NVIDIA also told journalists one of the key improvements is a second-generation transformer engine that doubles the computing, bandwidth, and model size by using four bits for each neuron instead of eight, hence the 20 petaflops of FP4 mentioned earlier. A second key difference only comes when you link up huge numbers of these new GPUs. A next-generation NV link switch is established. This lets 576 GPUs talk to each other with 1.8 terabytes per second of bi-directional bandwidth. That required NVIDIA to build an entirely new kind of network switch chip, one with 50 billion transistors and some of its own onboard compute. All this indicates that we're slowly being ushered into the age of quantum computing. Now each tray in the rack contains either two GB200 chips or two NV link switches, with 18 of the former and nine of the latter per rack. In total, NVIDIA says one of these racks can support a 27 trillion parameter model. GPT-4 is rumored to be around a 1.7 trillion parameter model. The company says Amazon, Google, Microsoft, and Oracle are all already planning to incorporate the NVL-72 racks in their cloud service offerings, though it's not yet clear just how many they would be purchasing. And of course, NVIDIA CEO says they're happy to offer companies the rest of the solution too. Here's the DGX Superpod for DGX GB200, which combines eight systems in one for a total of 288 CPUs, 576 GPUs, 240 terabytes of memory, and 11.5 exaflops of FP4 computing. NVIDIA says its systems can scale up to tens of thousands of the GB200 superchips, connected together with 800 gigabits per second networking with its new Quantum X800 InfiniBand for up to 144 connections, or Spectrum X800 Ethernet 
for 64 connections. We don't expect to hear anything about new gaming GPUs for now, as this news is coming out of NVIDIA's GPU technology conference, which is usually almost entirely focused on GPU computing and AI, not gaming. But the Blackwell GPU architecture will likely also power a future RTX 50 series lineup of desktop graphics cards. Well, that's all for today. Don't forget to like our video and comment on what most intrigues you about the technology used in today's level of computing. Bye for now.